What are you doing there, Piper? Come on. <laughs> just gonna lay there all day? <laughs> well, hello, folks. Uh, I was out here cleaning up my shop and cutting my wood and getting ready for the inevitable freeze because it's coming. I think they're talking about uh, we might get some snow tomorrow and the next day. Today it was like 50 degrees. It's really weird. Uh, but, you know, that's a calm before the storm. So cleaning everything up. I got an old snow blower that my my uh, neighbor lady gave to me. Actually, it was my, my uh, male lady. She come pulling on up. She's friends with us. We give her chicken, eggs, and stuff. And she's really nice. So she found this from a neighbor or someone. And she said she wasn't sure if it ran or not. It was from the 70s. And so... What I did was I brought it in here, I changed, I took the old spark plug out, stuck it on the grinder, I cleaned the spark plug, I didn't, I'm not going to change it, I just cleaned it, stuck it back on, made sure all the wires were okay, I took the air compressor, cleaned out all the carburetor systems and everything, made sure everything was fine there, and I drained all the old fluids. And uh, we're going to stick some fresh gas in this. It's got a, apparently an electric start. And this has never been started in I don't know how many years because she said that the folks that had it, they had it out in a barn. So I don't even know. It could be 10, 15, 20 years. I don't know. So let's see if it runs. All the mechanics look okay. A lot of times you can just get away with uh, a little bit of maintenance and clean them up and they'll fire up. Let's see. Get some gas here and oh I also put uh I put put some uh a little bit of mix in here just a tiny little bit because it's gonna it'll lubricate the motor so it's a good idea to run a little bit of two cycle in there and uh kind of clean your motor up a little bit at first until it gets running good anyway. Ooh that's got a lot of moisture. That gas that was in it, there was only a tiny little bit, so I'm not, ooh, I just spilled that. I'm not real worried about it. Hopefully I don't over spill this. Oh geez. All the hoses and everything look okay. Evidently it must have been stored inside. How much gas? I don't set something on fire because I'm in the shop and that would be very uncool to burn the house down. I have to explain that to the wife well. Part of the course. Oh man, all right. So there's the, now I don't like the water either. Man, there is a lot of water on this thing. Oh, here we go. Man, I don't like, sorry about the lighting. My shop light blew out. And I gotta go over to Lowe's to get a another bulb. Oh boy. Okay, so this ain't gonna start any fires or anything, is it? God, I hope not. Chokes open. I like to just run with the choke open on them. I don't know what that does. Let's see, maybe. Might just get lucky and dog's gonna freak out. She is not going to like this. Does this even work? Yeah. Oh, there it goes! Hey! Well, that was great. No shit. There we go. She went. Wow. Maybe I take off this choke a little bit. I'll be damned. Run right through it. Come on now. I can work with that. Well, alright. That doesn't even sound too bad. 
No kidding. Well, that might be all right. That's everything. Wow, ain't that something? Well, maybe we can get some use out of this snowblower because uh, up here in the UP, we take these pretty serious. <laughs> Thank God, that's neat, man. All right, well, I'm happy. Take care, you guys. This was just a goofy little video. I figured I'd show this thing off. I, I gambled on it. I didn't think it would run, but wow. Holy moly. Yeah. All right. Like, share, and subscribe. See you guys.